In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can connect Molly with your WooCommerce plugin on WordPress. As you can see, here I have my WordPress website. I'm going to show you step by step how to accept payments with Molly. So what you want to do first, you want to go to molly.com and you probably already have an account. If you don't have an account yet, that's the first thing you need to do. Create a Molly account and you will be on a page like this. So now in order to activate your account, you have to give some more information about your company, uh, like your registration numbers and all that stuff. This is just a demo account. So I haven't done that step, but it doesn't really matter for this tutorial. What you need to do then, go to developers and go to API keys right here. So what we need to do now, we need to use these keys in order to work it to make it work with WooCommerce. So now let's go to WordPress and let's go to plugins right here and add a new plugin. That's what we want to do right now. Uh, right here at the search plugin bar, we want to type in Molly just like that. And now we get a plugin here, Molly payments for WooCommerce. We want to install this plugin and then activate it once this is done. So this shouldn't take like yeah, there we go. So now we can activate it and then we get to go right here. Now we want to search for the plugin right here. So I have a lot of plugins, I know. Um, so let's search for it. Where is it? Molly. Here it is. Molly settings right there. That's where we want to go. And now you can see that we haven't um, added our API keys yet. So that's what we want to do right now. So here's the live API key, copy it. And as you can see, I don't have one yet because I'm not verified, but just copy that key and paste it in here. And then we can enable the test mode in order to connect with Molly first in a test environment. So that's what we want to do right now. Copy this code. I do have this one and there we go. Now we can hit save changes and now it is basically set up so as you can see my api key isn't there so i'm just going to use the test api key in this case to to get the uh, payment methods because here we can see all the payments me methods right here so by default what will be uh, enabled is uh, the direct debit with a sepa credit cards and a voucher so we probably don't want this, we want um, ideal. So we can hit edit here and we can enable ideal. So here you can see ideal is not enabled in your Molly profile. So what we need to do, we need to go to our Molly profile right here. So this is where we can select the payment methods. You can see we can enable this one and we can enable, for example, PayPal. And that way we can also put it in, in our WooCommerce website and yeah, that's basically it. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe and see you next time. Have a good day.